A company that's been in business for 25 years in trucking has to seize operations. And it's because of California's stupid regulations. Let's get into today's videos. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. We definitely got to talk about this topic right here. You know, so many truck drivers are upset about this and wanted to bring this to light. You know, you know what companies are going out of business right now? The companies that are paying their drivers right. The companies that are trying to do and comply to whatever law and regulation that the federal government and California and all that is putting their way. And so here is a situation where there's a company that has been in operation, paying their drivers right, doing everything they can, is shutting their doors because of the AB5 law. It's really sad that these regulations are hurting hardworking companies and their businesses. Right. It says a family owned trucking company and brokerage, California Intermodal Associations, Inc., CIA, headquartered in Commerce, California, is seizing operations after nearly 25 years. 100 percent. Their reason is that AB5 law. It says CEO Gabriel Chow said he recently notified customers that he's winding down operations. Quote, unquote, I blame AB5 for the main reasons our company is closing. He said all hope that his company would survive faded in March after a federal judge in California rejected trucking and trade associations, legal challenges to stop enforcement of the AB5, right? For people that don't remember, AB5 is basically saying that you're not allowed to be a lease contractor anymore. You're either an owner operator, right? With your own MC or you're a company driver. And so they had 1099 workers. And so what they had to do was make the hard decision to be compliant and make their fleet company drivers, right? And so it says, quote, unquote, California is a hostile place to operate a business. He said, this law has created a hostile operating environment, an environment of unfair competition. Charles said his company complied with the law and switched his owner operators over to become company fleet of around 30 drivers. You know, it said, quote, unquote, we had a hard time maintaining that number because they started falling off because they were enticed by our competition that builds its business with owner operators. Right. It says Charles said once he notified customers that the company was fully compliant with AB5, the phone stopped ringing. So California regulations destroyed his business, you know, and the part that is so frustrating to him is he says, quote, unquote, it seems like as soon as our customers knew that we were complying with the law and hiring employee drivers and had our own assets, our costs went up by 30%. He said there was no incentive to use CIA anymore. They lost their own strategic advantage and now they're 30% more than all their competitors. While his company complied with the law, this law largely has not been enforced and other companies that continue to use independent contractors are succeeding while he has made a tough decision to close. So while he's doing everything in his power to do what the law states in California, all his competitors aren't doing it. They're like, you know what? We're not going to do it until they actually tell us or give us a big fine. And, you know, so California is making these big regulations and rules, but they're not enforcing any of it. And the only one getting hurt is the people that are doing things right. I owe about 1.8 million to the bank. I com I compromised myself to try and stay afloat because of this AB5. But if the state's not going to enforce it, I've decided to hang it up. Child said, I've made all of these efforts and nothing's going to change. So I can't continue digging myself a deeper and deeper hole. He also provides a logistical support to the trucking community with a container yard and offered warehousing services. In an email to Freight Waves, you know, uh, Fabian Ibarra, a dispatcher for another Southern California-based carrier, wrote, CIA has been a cornerstone in the logistics landscape for nearly two decades. Their impact was profound. If you ever move 53-foot containers from a rail in California, chances are you cross paths with CIA in your career journey, Ibarra said. Child said he is winding down operations this week, but is uncertain of the next career move. You know, I'm in my 50s, he says, and started this company with my dad 25 years ago. He said, I tried to do everything right and run a nice company. And this breaks my heart because I have to close it. So overall, you know, California regulations destroy good, hardworking trucking companies and the people that try to make America great with this. So it's really sad that you're making these regulations. You don't enforce them. And then the people that are trying to do it right are losing their shirts. You know, my truckers comment down below. 
you know, but overall, you know, CIA, appreciate everything you've done for California, you know, and if you work for the company, prayers for you and hoping that you find another job. You know, I hope and I know that uh, CIA will do their best, hopefully, to uh, make that transition easier for you. So, my truckers, comment down below.